I'm going to start with an already level bed and then take it in and out of level to show you what happens. The first thing you got to do is you got to loosen these on the sides so that you can start to turn these. And I'm going to take it, let's see, I'm going to make this too, too close, uncomfortably close and see what happens. Take it too high. Turning it to the left is going to raise the bed and I'm going to raise it to a point of failure. See what happens when we just take it way too high. There we go. It's too high. You see it squirting off. So when it squirts forward like that, the nozzle's way too close to the bed. And that is turning to the left. So I'm going to turn it to the right, take it back down to level again. Knobs go to the right. You get good solid adhesion, and I'm going to take it to the right too far and take the bed too far down and see what happens when we have the nozzle too far from the bed. Starting to come loose. There we go, squirting out like that. That's too far from the bed. So let's go back to the left again, and that trues it up, and there you have it. Those are the two different modes you're going to get from having it to the left, too high, and then that's too high, and then to the right, too low, squirts out like that. In between, nice solid line like that. So then you want to do is just make sure that on both sides that the gap is about the same and you can just use a wedge shape piece to make sure that the that the these two gaps are the same because there's a there's a band of tolerability in there and you're going to want to find a setting that works well for you. So it should be fairly tolerant over I would say probably about a half a millimeter on each side, maybe even a millimeter or more um, of tolerance in terms of what's going to be adhering well. But uh, there you have it. That's going in and out of level, too high and too low. Don't forget to tighten these knobs back down when you're done to lock it in position.